right hello hello i hope everyone is doing well today i'm going to be going over a small addition that you guys can add to your offer um, i know many of you guys are doing just hey i'll run your facebook ads and you're kind of stopping there and i think most of you don't fully comprehend what does it exactly mean hey i run your facebook ads okay it's not just hey i'll hire a media buyer and they're going to run the ads for me and i put the creative in the copy and i the, the hard work is done and then from there i get booked appointment Okay, if it was that easy, everyone would be doing their ads themselves. All right, that's a bit more complex than that. I'm not saying this should be your entire service delivery and that if you're doing all of this, you're good to go and you know your clients will pay you $10,000 per, per month. Um, you have to do a bit more, but I think this is just one small thing that you guys can start incorporating in your service. And it's an easy thing. It's not that complicated that um, you can you know consider adding in your service. Now, what are we going to be doing? Okay, so what happens most of the time is that you'll run a Facebook ad, okay? So you run Facebook ads, you do lead generation. You'll run the ad to a lead form. All right, if you guys don't know what that is, you should know what that is because you're offering Facebook ads, all right? So it's pretty important, all right? So it's basically like a form where there's a bunch of questions, all right? So if you're working with, let's say, uh, let's say you're a solar agency and you're getting them clients, uh, it can be, are you, do you own your house or are you renting? What's your credit score? What's your budget? What's your location? You know, things like that. These can be sort of questions to ask in the lead form. Afterwards, once the lead fills out this information, you acquire all of their information. So you have their name, their email, their phone numbers, and all of those qualifying questions. Okay. And very important, those questions, they fit what the client actually needs from their prospects. All right, so let's say the client only works with people with a budget above 10000 And you get someone who fills out the lead form, but you have no idea what's their budget. And you give them to your client. Now your client has to figure out if this person's qualified or not. Okay, so why not do it for them? You can ask a question and say, what is your budget for this project? You can add like a multiple choice question. Or you can just tell them to pick one. And then afterwards, if they put, let's say, 2000 and you know your client only works with 10,000 then you can automatically disqualify those people or refer them to another company you know you, you know so from there you get the information then once they fill out the form there's going to be a link hey click here to book your call which is a landing page and in a perfect world right the client the lead would book a call and this i'd say happens maybe 20 percent of the time okay maybe 20 percent of the leads that come in will book a call like that and they're not all qualified obviously what do we do with the 80% left, okay? They've obviously shown some interest in your client's service, but not enough to actually book a call. Okay, your landing page wasn't convincing enough. Ideally, there's, there would be like a VSL, uh, case studies and stuff like that. So they got on the page and they're like, no, I don't really wanna book a call anymore. I don't wanna work with this person. I'm not that committed to doing it. But they were committed enough to give their information and we have that information. So what can we do? If the person leaves without booking, you can do two things. One, you can have a VA call them, which is the ideal scenario, all right? So let's say someone fills out the form, you have a VA on standby, and then they see they didn't book a call. So then they call them. They're like, hey, um, we got your information in our system. I just wanna, I'm from this company. I just wanna make sure that I got the information right. Your last name is this, correct? They'd be like, yes. And then from there, you're like, yeah, I'm just calling you regarding your application to, you know, acquiring about their solar uh, services what type of job or what type of budget i don't know how solar works but you would ask qualifying questions like that and then you would sort of qualify them and then get them to book uh, a time with your your client through that phone call you can also do or i would do in combination which is automated sms or emails let me tell you a story i was building a new vsl landing page and i wanted to see what my competitors were doing all right, so I went on all of their VSLs, I signed up, and I had to always put my name, my number, and everything. So they all had my information. Um, out of maybe 10, 15 VSLs that I signed up to, there's like two of them that did this, and one did it very well, okay? I filled out most of the time the VSL. I would maybe get an email now and then, or like a text message, and you know, they kind of forgot about me, but there was this one company this one business they called me spammed me with sms called me again emailed me sms me 
Now, I have no intention of buying their service because I was just researching. But if I were to buy their service, if I was looking for someone to do what they were offering, I would probably, you know, go with those people because I see they have their follow up system. They have it on, on lockdown. So if they can do it with me, they can probably do it for my clients as well, you know. Um, so th just that shows you out of 15 people that I filled out the VSL, I will probably call that one person if I was actually interested. Because look, they, they, they show they're dedicated. I see their name over and over and I'm constantly reminded by them. And you guys have to do the same thing with your clients. Okay, not just your clients, but for your leads. And this is a good, this is a good um, lesson. Not just your, look, look how I had no interest, but if I were to buy, it would be that person. Okay. If I needed a cold email specialist to do my cold emails for my leads, I will call that guy. All right. And you guys can do that with your clients as well. Okay. If let's say you were DMing them and you asked for their email, you know, to receive like a, like a loom video, because you guys should be using like edu educational VSLs to pitch your clients. Let's say you DM them and you say like, hey, I have a video that can show you, you know, how to how you can get more solo jobs. Can I send you a video that goes over how, I, how, how we do this or how you can do this? They'll be like, yes, perfect. What will be the best email to send it to? They give you the email, boom, you have it. Then you should have them in some sort of email system. Like you can do this with Guava, it's not too difficult. You can automate a sequence where you constantly email them and you remind them of your work with case studies and stuff like that. I was kind of going on a tangent, but yeah. This is like a small thing you guys can add in your service delivery, which you should be doing. Okay. And not just, Hey, I run your Facebook ads. And then when you do it, you do ads form, you get the info and you hope the person books a call. All right. Because if you do that, you're going to be spending lots of money to acquire clients for your clients. It's not good. All right. So you need some sort of follow-up system. Um, ideally you would have someone call them. I understand that most people have no idea how to do this. Um, maybe I'll make a video on it, but I, on my team, I always have someone call them, right? I have a VA on standby that calls them, ask them qualifying questions. Obviously you have to train them a bit. And I have the automated SMS and emails for people who don't like to talk on the phone because sometimes they'll see the phone call. They're like, I don't want to talk to someone. And then they get a text message and they're like, I will text the person. That's fine. All right. So it's very important you do both of them. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's a short video, straight to a point, nothing too complicated, but it's an easy thing you guys can add in your service delivery without, you know, over complicated. It's not that complicated to add. And it adds so much value to what you're actually doing. And the results you'll be getting for your clients will be uh, five times better because you'll get five times leads. All right, so I'm not going to use a crazy number. It's going to be five times better. And if you do have existing clients and you're not doing this, then right away, um, I would look into implementing uh, these things using Go High Level and hiring a VA from either Facebook groups or online jobs, uh, dot ph. You know, you can, for 60 bucks per month, you can get a VA. Um, so yeah, that's going to be all for today. I hope this was useful and as usual, we'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.